Hiya, my name is Riffy and I'm a filmmaker and I'm making a film for a charity called the Runnymede Trust which looks at race equality in Britain. The film is part of a project called Generation 3.0 which looks at race equality and racism and actually looking at ways in which we can get rid of racism in a generation. The film that I'm proposing is a really ambitious shoot in Manchester where we're looking at the journeys of a young mixed per race person and a coach that goes to Salford Lads Club, yes, the iconic building, uh, where boxing becomes the ultimate tool for conversation and communication about racism, prejudice and effectively breaking those barriers. Do you think racism exists in boxing? The what? Racism. Racism is all over. Mm -hmm. because it just depends on the person. Mm -hmm. People think racists are white, but they're not. No. Mm. I know that. Yeah. The teamwork in a boxing gym yeah. is more than on a football pitch. If you've got the talent, if, if you feel you can achieve something in boxing, it's the same as football, if you feel you can achieve anything, go for it. Yeah. However, to make this happen, I really, really need your help. I've got a fantastic production company called Davies Inc, which makes some of the leading music video uh, videos in the country. Original bad girl on the radar. We not fear sound boy, we not afraid of labyrinth. Well, I've been breaking it down for you, baby. Been running around, I can't see no love for me. And we've got a fantastic cast some professional boxers like Danny Randall, who's actually trained with Amir Khan. Well, my uh, my mum's my mum's real dad is Indian. Like, I've never met him. But... Oh. I think I have to get me some coach before you start doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but I do need your help to raise some money to make this happen, to make it look very cinematic and be engaging because these films are going to be presented in two large events, one in October and one in November in Manchester and Croydon. And if you could help us, I'd be really, really grateful. So it's a conversation that we need to be having. How do we end racism in a generation?